It rained over seven inches in August, yet this is what the ground looks like. How could this possibly be the case? As it turns out, drought is based on more than just the rainfall totals that you received in the previous month. Yes, seven inches of rain in a month is a very high amount, but when you blend it with other factors, it's really not hard to see why there is still a drought going on in the area. First of all, we have to understand that drought is, you know, caused when there's not enough water and grounds look like this when there's not enough water, you know, in the ground to sustain the grass. The problem with a lot of the rain in August is that a ton of it came down in flash flood events. That means that it's like when it rained, it poured. However, rainfall fell at such extreme rates that the ground had a hard time absorbing it. Now, this is to be expected in the summer. Usually you have torrential downpours, but this is getting to the point where they're getting waterlogged. Like, actually waterlogged. Like, August 2nd had torrential downpours. August 3rd had downpours where where I lived had an inch of rain in a single hour. And August 4th, I will actually say that even though some areas had torrential downpours, where I lived, it was just a bit of a sprinkle. It was just a drizzly rain, which normally when it's 83 and humid, you don't get just a light rain like that, but we did. August 6th, the, perhaps the most destructive flash floods of them all, but when the 6th ended and turned to the 7th, it actually became a light sustained rain as the dew point went from like 77 to 63 over the course of that time. Air temperatures over 24 hours slipped from 86 to 64. Um, and the rain just became light because it had to become light. And the 8th was a similar story. On the 9th, everyone was frantically waiting for more rain, which never came, but there was strong gusts and the humidity increases. The dew point went back to the mid 70s as temperatures rose above 80 degrees. And then it was sunny and less humid over the weekend as the storms moved through. Um, I mean, there was a bit of a sprinkle on the 12th, but there, but that didn't really accumulate to that much rain. And when there's low humidity with temperatures in the mid 80s um, and dew points are about 60, that's bad for the grass. Now you can see some areas have better grass, I guess because maybe it just absorbed there better. I also realized how blurry my camera is and how blurry it still will be after I adjust it, so I'm not gonna bother adjusting anymore. But that's that for, um, for that perspective. Now, August 17th did feature more drizzles, and August 18th featured more torrential downpours. As, as a catastrophic storm system, it, the damage in Connecticut was massive, um, tore across the area, and that dumped multiple inches of rain. And in the morning, it came down hard, but not like torrential hard flash flood. The sun came out, it had time to absorb before the nightly flooding. But that probably tore up some of the grass. And Monday had more storms, don't get me wrong. There was more time for the ground to replenish its natural groundwater. But since then, how much rain has there really been? Not that much. You have isolated showers on either the 25th or the 26th, can't remember which. Um... You have the 28th when there were isolated thunder showers after a really hot and humid day. And then on the 30th, there was some morning showers. Really, all the rain on the 31st and 1st missed the area. And now it's going to be another period where temperatures are going to be high. Um, high temperatures, low humidity as the dew points are back in the low 50s. I mean, eventually they'll rise on Friday as temperatures hit 80 again. Um, because even though it's going to be a cold period, I don't think the National Weather Service was correct on that. And it's funny because I complain about, um, about whether or not this is my last time wearing shorts just for me to realize I'll probably be wearing shorts most of the week. Funny how that works, huh? And, um, and then there's some storms, but it, it looks like a dry pattern. 